Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to make this video. I wanted to keep this private. No. This um, drama that's going on in my family. But I warned her plenty of times my mom. So I'm going to talk about it. And you guys tell me who's in the right and who's in the wrong. Because my mom will say the same story. It's not a change of stories or anything. But if you ask her, she'll think she's in the complete right. Um, I was helping her with groceries today. And the whole time, if I stop for one minute to friggin' go through my pockets to make sure I got my money and all that. I stop for anything for two seconds. She starts screaming as loud as she can right in my face in Walmart today. That was very nice. Two, two, three hours at least, her screaming in my face non-stop. And, and then when I went to use the bathroom, she had a meltdown in Walmart. All because I took two minutes to use the bathroom. Like, how dare I, right? And somehow, in her mind, she thinks she's in the right there. And she did nothing at all wrong. So you guys be the judge of that story and tell me who's in the wrong and who's in the right. I really want to hear what you guys think. Because, like, any logical person can see who's in the wrong in that situation. But for some reason, in her fucking messed up head she thinks that she's in the right completely she did nothing wrong whatsoever and it's all me even though I wasn't saying a goddamn word and was helping her out as hard as I could and yet she just continued to scream as loud as she could right in my face the whole time I had to threaten I had to literally threaten to leave just so she'd stop and now, and immediately when I get home, I want to relax after spending two hours to get my face screened in. He's like, oh yeah, I gotta help with the TV too. Nope. You, you spend two hours screaming in my face non-stop, and you think I'm gonna help with the TV too? Like, you spit in my face and then you expect me to help you? <laughs> Where, where in your brain does that seem logical, huh? And she thinks, oh yeah, and, uh, when you ask anyone online, they're going to say, you're the abuser, and I'm in the right. So, let me know what you guys think. She would say the same damn story, the only difference is, in her mind, she's completely right, and never wrong. I friggin' tried to talk to her multiple times. This ain't me just making a, a video for drama. I'm literally making this video because I feel like there's no other option. Maybe this might get her to stop. I don't know. Because she... I gave her lots of chances. Like, hundreds. I can't even count how many. I told her to stop doing that. Because I'm gonna say something online about it. I'm very, I'm a pretty respectful person. Don't like uh, exposing people's private life. But tonight she freaking crossed the line big time. So that's the final straw. And my mind made up the whole time. I thought about this for a long time. And. She just made the decision tonight by doing that. I really hope, really hope the video maybe gets her to do something, right, to stop doing that. You know, I'm gonna grab the smokes. She stressed me out so goddamn much today. Like. You tell me, person who's watching, you tell me, do, does it, uh, who's in the wrong in this situation? Don't, and uh, just, 
just leave names out of it, who it is or whatever. Don't know who it is, say that. Someone screams in the other person's face for three hours straight and they don't say a word and then get screamed at for having to use the bathroom like a, a normal human being. Um, and who's in the right? Is the person screaming in the right there? Um, like, any logical person can see that, and I had a, b a bunch of people giving me weird looks, so I can only imagine what she was screaming about me in there. She only knows what she was saying about me. She could have been saying, I don't even know. It looked like a horrible uh, story, whatever she told the person, because they were looking at me very badly. I don't know what story she came up with this time. For some reason, she enjoys just trashing my name around town. And that's, and that's why, actually, a lot of people ended up immediately hating me before getting to know me. Because they hear my mom making up her damn stories. Wait, a second. Yeah. It's been a stressful day today for sure. I have to deal with that. Like, I don't know what she did today. I have no idea. But, just treat me like worse than a slave. Pretty sure even slaves were allowed to use the bathroom and perform human bodily functions for F sake. My god. She's not always like this. She is nice sometimes. But I honestly don't know what's going on in her head. So I'll give her that. She is nice and pretty good to me from time to time, you know. I give her that little point there, but this has to really stop. It has to freaking stop. And she doesn't want to listen to me. So maybe you guys can write in the comments and try to cons uh, convince my insane mom who's in the wrong there. But I highly doubt it. She'll just, she doesn't, won't, wouldn't care if I got a thousand people to say you're in the wrong. She'd still think in her head she's in the right. And that's why I've uh, bettered myself in life. And she's just stayed at the same bottom. Because she never takes responsibility for a single mistake, never apologized to me for anything in her, in her entire life. And the only time she ever did was my grandmother forced her to apologize because even my grandmother could see how fucking horrible that was. That was the only time, one time in her entire life and it was my grandmother who forced her to. Otherwise, she's never apologized once in her life. Even though I've apologized multiple times for any little bad thing I do. But her? Not once. And I kept saying to her over and over, like, you don't want to listen to me, you don't want to talk it out, then... I'm gonna friggin' make a video about it and have some, maybe get, it's not, do, please don't send hate to her, just, just, um, give the other opinion because she doesn't believe a word I say and just thinks I'm always wrong and she's always right, so maybe, for like 1% chance of this that she might listen to some other people's, uh, opinion about it. Hopefully, anyway, but I highly doubt it. She, she, she doesn't believe anyone but herself. I really hope you guys, please guys, leave comments. Just 
what your opinion is. Like, in that story situation, she'll tell you the same story. Scream in my face for a few hours. And all because I went to the bathroom and uh, did a human bodily function. That's why she screamed in my face for three hours straight. And she go and then the worst part is I actually did go to the bathroom and she goes, You're lying, you went outside for another smoke. Even though I actually did go to the bathroom, she said she was watching, so that was a complete lie, obviously. So yeah. Um I friggin' warned you plenty of times. And I didn't want to make it public, but Today you really crossed the line. You hurt me bad. I'm not, well, I'm done with it. You can kick me out, whatever. I'll find. I can get another place instantly. Only reason I even came back here was to help her out. I can get a place right across from here for two hundred a month if I really want to. And she's making me honestly really want to, because it's a thousand times worse here than it was there. And I'll be back in a second. Yeah, so anyway guys, I'm going to conclude this video anyway, and all the uh, last thing I get to say is just write your, your guys' opinion on that situation who's in the right and who's in the wrong. Just give your honest opinion. And she'll tell you the same story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed anyway. And please like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch, D'Angelo4545. You can follow me on Twitter at D'AngeloJohn1. And subscribe to the channel. This is D'Angelo Picture Vlogs. And I am piecing out.